Welcome, this is Dev Team Paxton with uh, your second video here. The first one we went over base, some basics of ARMA scripting, went over some variables and a little bit of the syntax. Uh, I'm assuming that most of your scripting is going to be intended for multiplayer, so we're going to get in that testing environment. So because if you do most of your testing and scripting, in the editor you want to find when you switch it over to a dedicated server you are going to have to redo a lot of your stuff so quick and easy way to do that uh, if you go to armaholic.com or just google Tofi's Arma dedicated server tool uh, you'll find this page here very bottom you're going to want to download this is your download link here and you want to make sure you have .NET Framework 4.5 installed. Once you've downloaded that, you want to put the executable in your Arma 3 folder. Uh, you go to Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Common, Arma 3, and the executable goes in here. And while you're in it, go ahead and make a shortcut of that executable right there and MP missions and put them on your desktop because you'll be accessing them pretty frequently. Alright, then if you got uh, Arma going, let's go ahead and start a new one here. Stratus, new scenario. Let's get a player. Up and down, he should automatically become check player, and he is. So, let's say we want five player team. This guy needs to be playable. Let's go ahead and copy him. Paste, paste, paste. We got five players. One's player. The rest are playable. I believe they all can be playable instead of having one player. It really doesn't matter. I don't believe. Uh, click on your markers. Go down to system marker. What we're doing now, we're setting up our respawn, and we want an empty marker. I'm gonna place that down here, and the variable na variable names for blue four has to be respawn. And I messed that up. It has to be respawn west, just like that. And this is where blue four is going to respawn. Let's save this your missions MP missions and we're gonna save this as touch three save away I got way for stuff open let me close all this stuff out here. all right so this is gonna put it in documents armor three MP missions, you're going to want to copy this folder. And then paste it into your MP missions. And all you're going to have in that folder is your mission.sqm. And then go to your text editor or whatever you're using, you can use Notepad or whatever you choose to use. Here we are. This is the only folder. This is the only file you're supposed to have in this folder. And we're going to create a new file. And this is going to be called description.ext. And that name is not something I've cho chosen. That's something the engine uses to get some defaults for your mission. And since we're using that respawn west marker, you need to set that up. And this in the description ext is where you do that at. And um, for that, where's my cursor at? For that, we're going to use to do respawn. Sorry for the ugly syntax highlighting. I might fix that one day. Uh, my regular 
SQF files aren't going to look like this, but this one is. We're not going to do much in here, so it doesn't really matter. The respawn equals base. That means respawn underscore west marker is where blue four spawns. Respawn underscore east marker is where op four is going to spawn. And then when you go into the lobby of a mission, you'll notice that there are slots for each playable unit. And depending on the mission, there may be AI filling those slots or it may just be empty. Most multiplayer you, you play, such as Wasteland, stuff like that, you don't want AI filling the slots. You just only want actual players filling those slots. So you have to use disabled AI equals one, which means true. That doesn't disable the AI, the AI that just doesn't fill those slots with AI in the server lobby. All right, so now that we got that set up, we're going to want to add another file. This is going to be an SQF file, and it's going to be init player local. And again, I did not choose this file name. This is a file that the engine calls automatically on mission start, and it does exactly what it says. It units the local player on missions on actually not just on mission start but also when the player joins so when it, and let me show you the wiki on this I think I had it up here already um, no I don't um, let's do I should be able to pull it up real quick Most of the time you're going to want this website up and when you're editing, just use it as a reference pretty quick. Um, it's not the easiest, but it's pretty handy. Let's see if I can find reference to this file. These are all files the engine calls automatically. Ignore the SQS ones, SQF ones, only ones you're going to be interested in. This is what I'm using right now, init player local. And this gives you a little information about it. And right here, it shows you the arguments that the engine will send to this file. And if you remember from my previous video, I went over arrays. So the arguments that this file has access to is a two element array. One is going to be the player object, the other one is going to be did JIP boolean, which is a true or false value. Uh, JIP stands for join in progress, which means if the player joins the mission the same time the mission starting this is going to be false but if the player joined while the mission was actually in progress this will be true which is very important for scripting because there's certain things you need to do on a player that may be joining while while the mission's already running so we're going to come to this and we know that unit we're going to name unit it's a underscore in front of it so it's a local variable that I named and we want the first parameter of that argument so we use this select zero zero base counting zero is the first element of that array and then we want that boolean so it's is J JIP that's what I'm going to name it and it's going to be this select one so now I have two variables that I can use and let's just do a little check here let's do an if conditional statement let's say if it's a not join in progress then welcome to the mission mission on mission start why not pretty much just useless hint anyway semicolon semicolon at the end of conditional statement 
and now let's say if he is joining joining why the mission is starting then let's hint why are you so late oops my typing's kind of all over the place today all right so let's see what we got here so we got our description ext just a couple little things in there and we got our init player local and we got our mission dot sqm with all our data we put in with the Eden editor so from there we can go to our t dedicated server tool and let's select that mission make sure that one starts make sure we get persistent battle so it's a persistent mission set your mixer all your name and all that set and then go ahead and launch it I don't think I had one running already did I? No. I'm trying to think did I forget a step I don't think I did. No, I think I'm good. I'm keep on moving. If I did forget a step, I'll go back and fix it. Alright. When you get those three, you know you're good to go. Then your mission should pop up here. That was in the LAN tab. Type in your password. You see I don't have AI filling any slots. They all are empty. Just pick a slot. And this is this isn't joining in progress, so that value should be false because we are starting the same time that the mission is, which also is going to give you the briefing window. If you don't, if you join in progress, you won't have the briefing window. And there it is. Welcome to the mission on mission start. Fancy. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and leave it so that the mission the mission has already started. Um, actually, let's go ahead and back it. You can join again. This is, it, it would give you the is not, it will give you um, the join in progress hint, but I just to demonstrate, I'm going to back all the way out just to show you that the mission is, keeps running. So we're going to rejoin it. Choose a slot. It doesn't matter which slot, let's use the same one. And then it should say, Why are you so late? Why are you so late? So there you are. Now you are doing progress and also show you that respawn's working. Uh, you can just hit respawn and it's going to respawn you instantly because we didn't set up a respawn delay, which is also done in the description EXT. But also to show you that you can blow yourself up and respawn too. It's all working correctly there you have it we are set up and ready to go and we can get into it on our next video thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed it